Betelgeuse, a colossal red supergiant star, sits on the shoulder of the Orion constellation, visible to the naked eye from Earth. Once shining as one of the brightest stars in the night sky, this cosmic giant has recently shown signs that it may be approaching the end of its life. In late 2019, astronomers and stargazers noticed something strange, Betelgeuse began to dim significantly. Its light dropped so much that it was visible even without telescopes. This rare dimming event led to global speculation. Was Betelgeuse about to go supernova? Scientists turned powerful telescopes toward the star. Observations revealed that a massive amount of material had likely been ejected from the star's surface, forming a dust cloud that temporarily blocked its light. Though dramatic, this was not the final explosion, at least not yet. Betelgeuse, also known as Alpha Orionis, is one of the largest stars observable from Earth. It's about 640 light years away and nearly 900 times the diameter of the Sun. Though it ranks second in brightness in Orion after Rigel, Betelgeuse stands out due to its enormous size, pulsating nature, and reddish glow. Its name has Arabic roots and refers to its position in the figure of Orion. Betelgeuse sheds massive amounts of mass, roughly one solar mass every 10,000 years. This ejected material forms an expanding cloud around the star, stretching far beyond the orbit of Neptune in size. Inside its core, hydrogen fusion has long given way to helium, carbon, and heavier elements. As the star exhausts its fuel, it begins forming iron in the core. But iron fusion consumes more energy than it produces, leading to a gravitational collapse. When this collapse occurs, Betelgeuse will explode as a supernova, a titanic burst of energy that will shine brighter than the full moon in our sky. Historical records suggest Betelgeuse may not have always looked red. Ancient Chinese observers recorded it as yellow, implying it might have been a yellow supergiant in the past, evolving with time. Massive stars like Betelgeuse burn through their fuel quickly. Their lifespans, though short compared to our suns, are filled with intense activity. While our sun still has about 5 billion years left, Betelgeuse could explode any time, from tomorrow to 100,000 years in the future. Betelgeuse's brightness varies in cycles. Two main brightness variations occur, one over several years, and another over about 100 days. These are likely caused by the star's outer layers expanding and contracting, altering its size and temperature. The sudden dimming in 2019 and 2020 drew attention not just because it was unexpected, but because it was the most dramatic change ever recorded for this star. While surface activity and dust seem to be the cause, the exact mechanisms remain unclear. Measuring a star like Betelgeuse is notoriously difficult. Its size changes over time, and its outer layers are not solid but constantly shifting. Depending on the wavelength used to observe it, its apparent size can differ by as much as 35%. Observations from the European Southern Observatory in 2009 revealed giant plumes of gas being expelled from the star's surface. At least six such massive eruptions have been detected, giving insight into how massive stars lose their outer layers before death. In 2019, the Hubble Space Telescope captured evidence of a huge surface mass ejection, thousands of times more powerful than anything ever seen on the Sun. This may explain the dramatic dip in brightness that followed. By February 2020, Betelgeuse had dimmed to nearly one-third of its usual brightness. But by late February, the star's brightness stabilized, and no signs of core collapse were seen in the infrared spectrum. Despite dramatic changes, Earth remains safe. Even if Betelgeuse explodes as a supernova, its distance from us ensures we won't face any harmful radiation. Instead, it would offer a once-in-a-lifetime spectacle, and a historic opportunity for science. As of now, Betelgeuse has returned to normal brightness. But its strange behavior continues to be monitored using space and ground-based telescopes, including the James Webb Space Telescope, Hubble, ALMA, and VLT. Astronomers now believe that the mysterious dimming of Betelgeuse in late 2019 and early 2020 was not a sign of an immediate supernova, but rather the result of a massive cloud of stellar dust. This dust was likely expelled during a violent surface eruption, an event thousands of times more powerful than a solar flare on our own sun. 
As this dense material moved outwards, it temporarily obscured our view of the star acting like a cosmic curtain drawn across one of the sky's most recognizable lights. This phenomenon fits well within our current understanding of red supergiants nearing the end of their lifespans. Such stars, unstable and massive, undergo periodic convulsions as they burn through their nuclear fuel. With each eruption, more of the star's mass is ejected into space, creating an expanding envelope of gas and dust. These outbursts are not just spectacular. They are essential clues in unraveling how massive stars die and what processes shape their explosive final act. Studying Betelgeuse in this critical phase offers astronomers a unique window into the life cycles of massive stars. These giants are the cosmic forges where the universe's heaviest elements are born. Within their cores, elements like iron, silicon, carbon, and oxygen are created through nuclear fusion. When such a star finally collapses and explodes as a supernova, these elements are hurled across the cosmos, enriching nearby gas clouds and laying the foundations for new stars, rocky planets, and even the building blocks of life. In this sense, Betelgeuse is not just a dying star, it is a cosmic alchemist. The very atoms in our bodies, including the iron in our blood and the calcium in our bones, were forged in long-gone stars just like it. Should Betelgeuse go supernova in our lifetimes, it would be one of the most significant astronomical events in human history. Despite its distance of about 640 light years, the explosion would be visible even during the day, possibly outshining the full moon for weeks or even months. And beyond its dazzling brilliance, it would also offer something even more valuable, an unprecedented flood of scientific data. Neutrino detectors such as IceCube in Antarctica, and gravitational wave observatories like LIGO and Virgo would be on high alert. A supernova releases vast amounts of neutrinos, tiny, nearly massless particles that can pass through entire planets without being stopped. Capturing these elusive messengers would provide scientists with a detailed timeline of what happens inside a star during its final moments, long before visible light reaches us. Meanwhile, any gravitational waves generated by the collapse would ripple through space-time, potentially giving us insights into stellar physics and the nature of gravity itself. What makes Betelgeuse even more exciting is its location. Most supernovae observed in modern times have occurred in galaxies far beyond our own, appearing only as brief blips in distant skies. Betelgeuse, however, is part of the Milky Way making it our nearest realistic opportunity to observe the full life and death of a supergiant star. It is, quite literally, in our cosmic neighborhood, a rare chance to watch a star die in real time. Until then, Betelgeuse continues to pulsate gently in the night sky. Its red glow, still visible with the naked eye, acts like a silent metronome counting down to an unknown climax. While its brightness has stabilized for now, astronomers continue to monitor it closely, watching for new fluctuations, surface activity, or spectral shifts that could herald the next chapter in its story. This single star, hanging quietly in Orion's shoulder, has become a symbol of both the grandeur and the fragility of cosmic existence. Its eventual demise will not mark an end, but a transformation, an explosion that, far from destroying, will help create. When Betelgeuse finally explodes, its light will traverse the void and wash over Earth as a blazing testament to the power of stellar life and death. It will be a final farewell, a brilliant spectacle across the sky, and a scientific goldmine of data that may reshape what we know about the life cycle of stars, the birth of elements, and the evolution of the universe itself. For now, we wait. We observe. And we marvel. Because somewhere out there, one of the universe's great fireforgers is preparing for its final performance, and we are